three things. When are we being treated? How are we being treated? And with what are we, are we going to be treated? Ah. Hi, everyone. I'm Michael Lee. I'm an assistant professor in the Technology and Operations Management Unit at Harvard Business School. My research interest fundamentally revolves around using AI to improve healthcare decision making. Healthcare is an industry in which innately the decisions mean life or death, yet many of the decisions are reactive, inefficient, or sometimes even arbitrary. AI promises to change this, but how can we actually develop these intelligent systems so that these AI tools can work with human expertise? That is what I'm trying to answer in my research. Honestly, it's because my parents wanted me to be a doctor. But more seriously, I've always had this fascination with mathematics. I was thinking about how can I use my mathematical skills to create the maximum impact. And it might sound cliche, but I really do want to make the world a better place. And when I see the algorithm that I've created help a patient get better care, help a hospital reduce their wait time, or help a life-saving drug get to the market faster, I can really see the impact. Healthcare is mostly reactive. You have a problem, you go to the doctor. But what if the doctor can use predictive analytics to predict if you're gonna have a disease or not into the future and try to cure you before you have symptoms? How do we get there? That is a lot of the questions I'm answering or trying to answer in my research. Yes, in fact, this was my first case. So this case is on hospitals for special surgery and they were operating under capacity, but they saw patients were lining outside the door. So something wasn't adding up. Now, I won't spoil the main punchline, but let's just say that the reason wasn't exactly obvious. Within the classroom, we asked students to come up with creative solutions so that we can balance the gains of efficiency from using this algorithm and the need to accommodate doctors' individual preferences and also individual freedoms. I brought a deck of cards. Now, a deck of cards might seem simple, but lying within is a lot of complexity and structure. Just a simple shuffle reminds us of a complete new possibility or a complete new permutation, even though it's the same deck. And really, this is an analogy for how I look at a problem and research. It's the same problem, but looking at it from different angles. A lot of times gives me new insights and new directions, and really allows me to see the bigger picture. This deck also signifies the connections that I've built over time. No one does research alone. And I really like to think that the connections and the collaborations are really how I'm standing here today. <laughs>